Today we're going to be looking at using the area model in order to solve multiplication problems. The area model is a great strategy to use whenever you're trying to find the answer to a multiplication number and it works whenever you're multiplying one digit by another number that has multiple digits. And we're going to use what we call expanded form in order to find the answer to this word problem. So we'll get right into our word problem. It tells us a farmer planted four rows of sunflowers. There were 1,200 five plants in each row. How many sunflowers did he plant? So the first thing that's going through my head right now is what's going to have to happen to my answer. Is my number going to go up or is my number going to go down? Or in math terms, is my number going to increase or is my number going to decrease? So as I look, I know that I'm trying to find the total number of sunflowers that were planted. So I know in my head that my number has to go up. So now I'm looking up the actual numbers from my word problem. It tells me that I have four rows and I have 1,205 plants in each row. So that word rows automatically makes me think of multiplication. So I'm going to get right into my area model. I'm going to have my four which I'm going to be multiplying by 1,205. Now, as we said earlier, we're going to be using expanded form. So I'm going to have 1,000 plus 200 plus zero plus now you'll notice I left even the zero in there. That's just to remind me that there's still a number in the tens place. That number just happens to be a zero. So next up, I'm going to draw out my rectangle. And I'm going to have a thousand, two hundred, my zero, and then my five that's in my ones. So now I multiply each number. So I'm going to start off by multiplying four times a thousand, which gives me four thousand. Four times two hundred, which gives me eight hundred. Four times zero is zero, and four times five is twenty. So now that I have each number multiplied, my next step is to add up all of those numbers. So I'm going to be adding my 4,000, my 800, my zero, and my 20. So I'm going to make sure that those numbers are all nicely lined up by place value. 800 zero, and then my 20. Okay, so I know zero plus zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus zero plus nothing plus two is going to give me two. Zero plus eight is eight, and four plus nothing is four. There we go. So I have 4,820. So my last step is going to be to write that out in a sentence so that I'm showing my thinking and explaining what the actual answer is. So I'm going to say that so I'm looking back at my question. How many sunflowers did he plant? So I can start off by saying he planted, and this is where I'm going to insert my answer, 4,820 sunflowers. And I'm noticing that this particular question doesn't ask me to actually explain any of my thinking. So now that I've shown my work, I've used an area model, and I've also written a sentence that shows my answer, I'm finished. Thank you for watching.